Many homes are constructed with a crawl space underneath them. Depending on the age, they can be wet, smelly, and under-insulated. Let's join Comfort Ready Homes Energy Specialist, Troy Z, as he assesses an existing home's crawl space. Today we're going to be taking a look at the space that lies under the house. We call this the crawl space because as you can see, there isn't much room to stand up in. So most of the time when you find a crawl space, you're going to be on your hands and knees trying to get through. The access to this crawl space is outside of the home, which is good because we don't need to open up anything or have any air sealing that happens inside of the home, such as like a hatch in a closet. Uh, where many homes, that's where the access lies. This one's on the outside, so it's a little bit simpler to be able to access and get insulation in and out as needed. However, if it's not properly covered, it's a lot easier to get moisture and water inside of the crawl space, which can oftentimes be very difficult to get out. This home's foundation was built with concrete blocks, and they've architecturally integrated the venting into the foundation itself. Oftentimes you'll see a home that has a poured foundation and they will pour a screen directly into the foundation itself. Now in this scenario, the screen is actually missing and this creates a passageway for critters or other types of little animals to get through and into the crawl space where we typically don't want such animals. In the winter, it can be a lot of times a lot warmer in there. They'll get in there and then they'll start to disturb the insulation, leave droppings and continue to make a, a not clean space. And if we didn't do the air sealing between the floor barrier, oftentimes those odors can come up inside of our house. So we want to be able to um, install a new screen on here uh, to stop that from happening, but still not, uh, stop the, the air from moving through and creating good ventilation in the crawl space. Before entering any crawl space, it's important to wear personal protective equipment or PPE. In this case, I'll be putting on a Tyvek suit, definitely a mask over my face to keep any dust or moisture out of, out of my lungs, some eyewear and gloves. So let's put that on. As you can see, that didn't take long. I'm now prepared. Got my handy dandy uh, headlamp on, and I think we're ready to go into the space. Let's go. So we can already see that some of the insulation has started to fall down and it's not completely in contact with the floor above it. Now, when this was originally installed, they did try to twine it in place, but unfortunately they didn't use a big enough uh, fiberglass bat to completely fill the space of the joist. So no matter what home you're in, very important that you overstuff before twining it in place so that it's in contact with the floor. In this scenario, even if it didn't break away like this, if there's a little airspace in between the floor and the insulation, it basically renders the insulation in that area completely useless for its effectiveness to stop the heat from leaving the house. <clears throat> so what we like to see is air sealing first, an oversized bat, and then it put into place with a nice tight twine. This twine is there, but it's not really doing anything as we can see that there's a lot of slack in between it and, and the insulation. This particular joist is exactly six inches in depth. And so we would wanna make a note of that when we're looking at any home of the depth versus the span. And this is 22 inches on center for the span between each joist. So we would purchase a product of insulation that would fit perfectly in this scenario. Here we found a spot where the plumbing goes into the home. And as we can see around the piping, there has been no air sealing whatsoever. 
on this side. This is a prime spot to be able to do air sealing before insulation goes in. This underneath bathtubs and where any electrical wiring might be penetrating through the assembly here is exactly where we want to use a spray foam or a type of long-term caulking to stop the airflow from moving. So make sure that every single penetration in the floor is completely sealed up before adding your insulation. When I first got into this crawl space, I noticed that there was a, a six mil soil or moisture barrier on the floor. Most of it seems to be in fairly good condition. However, there are some spaces where it is not overlapped correctly. To learn more about floor insulation specifications, follow the links in the description or reach out to your local energy